Last, pagandang araw po sa ating lahat. Ito po Sir Lloyd ng Sir Lloyd Plus. Ang topic po natin ngayon ay tinatawag na group data. Kung paano po mag-solve na group data. Okay, sa so, ituturo po sa inyo. Okay, class. So, meron tayong formula na 2A is greater than or equal n. Okay? So, ito po ang mamasihan natin. Susunod po natin to determine the value of k. Sa ano po ba yung k? Yun po yung number of classes. Frequency po nandito. Frequency. 
Ito yung data points natin. Ito yung data. Okay? So ito po yung data natin, data points. Tapos dito, si F. Yung cumulative frequency. Ha? Tingnan nyo. CR CR is what we call cumulative frequency. Ibig sabihin po na. Tingnan. So, cumulative frequency yung CR. Ganito na yung class. So, pinakamababa Isama po natin yung 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So meaning, 10 to 17. Epo, 10 to 17. Next, dito. 18 to 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, so lagi natin 25. The next, 26 to, so nag-add lang tayo na 7. So kita natin, nag-add tayo 7, nag-add tayo 7, add tayo 7, so this is 33. Kaya na po yung next. 7. So this is again. This is 40. The 7 is 41. The next. 42 plus 7 is 40. 40 plus 7 is 49. And 49. And ano yung ating distribution nila? Ito po yung data values ko. 10 to 17, 18 to 25, 26 to 33, 34, 41, 42 to 49. And then, isolve ba natin ito? Frequency na ito. Isolve ba natin yung frequency? So bilangin natin. 10, ito ha, 10. 10, simulan tayo sa 10. 10, 11, 11, 14, isa sa 14 dito. Yan dito, 11. So, 1, 2, 3. So, ibig sabihin, 10 to 17 dito is 3 lang sila. Okay, na-X na natin. Ay, mga na-X na natin. Ayan. So, dito is 3. Next, 18 to 25. So, the is 18 to 25. So, paano po yan? 18. Hanapin tayo 18 to 25. Wala. So, 25, 22, 1, 2, 18 to 25, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4. 4. So, ito ay 4. In the next, 26 to 33. Dito naman, 26 to 33. So, ito 30, ito 29, ito 27, ito 29, so 4 na yan, 4, 5, 5, dito 6, and 7. So, ibig sabihin dito is 7. The next, 34 to 41. 34 to 41, so binahan natin dito, 34, 34 to 41, wala, 34 to 41, dito wala din, 34 to 41, 34, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Six. So, this is six. And then we went to six parts. So, then we got 
Dan ada kita di bagian C. Eh kita the next forty two to forty nine to forty two. One, two, three, four. Okay, so four. So kombinasi yang kita lihat ya, kombinasi yang kita lihat tu, ay, dapat twenty five. So three plus four seven plus eight is fifteen plus six twenty one plus four is twenty five. So kalau itu ni yang si F, yang si F. Kombinasi frekuensi so three, kita lihat lagi three, three plus four, so kita lihat three plus four, that will be seven, seven plus eight, that will be fifteen, fifteen plus six is twenty one, the next twenty one plus four is, ada tak twenty one plus four is, mana? Twenty one plus four is. Okay, tapos ito po yung midpoint. Okay, so midpoint po ito dito. Midpoint po yan. Tapos ito is midpoint times midpoint times na frequency. Okay, so ano po yung midpoint natin dito? So 10 na 17. Okay, 10 plus 17 and that will be 27. Twenty-seven divided by two. Ten plus seventeen is twenty-seven divided by two, and that will be thirteen point five. And let me point it out. Now ten to seventeen. Next, eighteen plus twenty-five. That will be. Come back to that. Eighteen plus twenty-five. Divided by two, at a midpoint mo nito ay twenty one point five. Then dito naman midpoint nito twenty six plus thirty three divided by two, and that will be twenty nine point five. The next thirty four plus forty one. Is thirty-seven point five number dito. Thirty-seven point five. Okay. So midpoint dito is thirty-seven point five. Dito naman forty-two plus forty-nine is ninety-one divided by two is forty-five point five. So forty-five point five. And the next midpoint times frequency into the frequency multiply natin ito. Thirteen times three, okay. Thirteen times three, okay. So thirteen point five times three is forty point five. We know forty point five. The next four times twenty one point five. Four times twenty one point five. That will be eighty six. The next. Eight times twenty nine point five, and that will be two hundred thirty six. And the next six times thirty seven point five, and that will be two hundred twenty five. And the next, the next is four four times forty five point five. Is one hundred eighty-two, okay? And then add the sum, okay? So for the mean, mean of this data, the mean is equal to sum of mm, okay? So sum of mm divided by sum of frequency. So sum of frequency it has to be Twenty-five. Okay. So sum of your frequency. So this is your mean. Okay. So mean of the group data. Okay. So the mean of the group data is. Adang po natin ito. Adang natin ito. So at. Uh, 
So 40.5 plus 86 plus 236 plus 225 plus 182. And your answer is 769.5. So therefore we have 769.5 divided by 25. And our mean is equals to 30.78. So this is the mean of our group data. So this is 30.75. Okay, so that is the mean. So I hope you understand the discussion through this video. And God bless us.